Hi, welcome to the Oklahoma Hall of Fame Discovery Days. Uh, thank you to our uh, free family fun sponsor, the Chickasaw Nation. Um, and we tell Oklahoma's story through its people. And today's person is Angie DeBeau. DeBeau moved to Marshall, Oklahoma territory before turning 10 years old. Uh, she was educated in a one-room school before graduating with her high school diploma in 1913 at the age of 23. She received her PhD in history from the University of Oklahoma in 1933. DeBeau wrote several award-winning history or award award-winning books on Oklahoma history. And so today's book is going to be about Grandpa Green by Lane Smith. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys. So that way you can see our lovely book for today. And I've got a couple things to move out of the way. And so Grandpa Green by Lane Smith. He was born a really long time ago, before computers or cell phones or television. He grew up on a farm with pigs and corn and carrots and eggs. In fourth grade, he got chicken pox, not from chicken stuff. He had to stay home from school, so he read stories about guard, secret gardens and wizards and a little inch of mecca. In middle school, he stole his first kiss. After high school, his wish was to study horticulture, which is kind of the study of plants. But he went to a world war instead. He met his future wife in a little cafe. It looks like it's in Paris, France. When the war was over, they were married. They had many happy years together and never ever fought, or at least to hear him tell it. They had kids, way more grandkids, and a great kid, grandkid who's me. He used to remember everything. Now he's pretty old. And sometimes he forgets things, like his favorite floppy straw hat. But the all the important stuff. The garden remembers for him. A little part of it. I'm gonna have to rotate a little bit to see the rest. So we saw all these pictures just a little bit ago. And that is the end of our book. So today for our craft, we're gonna be adding flowers to our own garden. And I'm going to show you the example piece. So this is our example of a flower. And we are going to be working on that together today. So if you wouldn't mind taking out your craft kits or your supplies, you're gonna need some pipe cleaners a large sheet of colored paper, and a smaller sheet of brown or another color of paper. So the first thing you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is you will want to go ahead and draw out your pot. And I'm gonna draw mine out with a black crown. So you can make it as big or as small as you like. Your drawing doesn't have to be perfect because the imperfect side can go where the glue goes. So once you have your pot drawn, I drew mine pretty fast because, I don't know, I drew a pretty simple pot. You can kind of do like a base-like pot if you'd like. And you can start going ahead and cut it out and go ahead and let a guardian know if you need any help cutting out your pot. And I'm going to leave my pot just like that. So once you have your pot done, you can go ahead and put it to the side for now. 
And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to start working on our flower. And it looks like my flower is going to be a black flower. So what you're going to want to start doing is you're going to want to start making petals. So I'm going to make my petals kind of like this. I'm going to start with one and then rotate and make it two. And just as you go, you can start like using the pipe cleaner around itself to make more of the flower. And I'm going to start with the next part of it. And I'm going to start by wrapping this part around my already made petals. And I'm going to start making new ones. And once I have my petals there made, I'm going to add probably a couple more with my next pipe cleaner. I'm excited to see what colors everyone has. You know, it's been a very long time since I've seen a black flower, but I mean, they exist. There's black roses and stuff. Did you know you can change the color of a plant by putting food coloring or dye into the water uh, where the plant is growing? Or even if you just cut off the stem of a plant, you can uh, change the color of the petals because of the water that it's eating, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to add those two extra big petals on my side. It's not a perfect flower, but that's OK. And so what we're going to do next is this is going to be my stem. And my stem is going to go through, and I'm just going to wrap it around like once or twice. Uh, just to make sure that it's attached to well. Um, and once I have it attached, I'm going to go ahead and put my flower down. And I'm going to cut off a little, ooh, actually, I'm going to make a little part of my flower. That way I can shorten my stem without having to cut it, because my stem will be a little bit longer than I need it to be. I'm going to need a little glue for my flower. And so once you have that ready, you're going to go ahead and take your pot and you're gonna glue the pot over the stem of the flower. Glue stick, and get started on that. And notice how I'm gluing on the a little bit more um, artistic side of my pot where I have all my lines. I'm doing this so that way whenever I put it down, the clean side will be facing forward, not the side with all my lines. And so I'm going to position my flower where I like it. And then I'm going to place my pot down. Let's make sure I try and get my pot down as good as possible because that's what will be keeping my stem glued down. And there you go. And if you'd like to, I'm going to add a couple of small decorations to my pot. So I'm going to do some hearts. You guys can do whatever you'd like. And remember, you can draw in the background as well. So like, let's say that you want some clouds. Or some birds. And here's my flower pot. Thank you so much for joining our Discovery Day on Tuesdays. We're excited to see you next week and see you soon.